see I got my life back. God took control and I called that a life hack. What's up y'all, Zach here, and I know it's been a long, long, long time since you last heard from me, but a lot has happened uh, personally in my life since I last posted a video. Um, and so I wanted to take a break from all that. Um, my wife and I just moved across the country and uh, we just wanted to take some time to settle in here. So I took a break um, from some of the hobbies and things that I like to like to enjoy just to kind of get our bearings in, in a new place and uh, just to kind of settle, settle in and where we are now. And uh, But I always wanted to come back to this YouTube thing. I really like uh, kind of engaging with you all and uh, kind of building up a community here a little bit um, through, through these videos. So uh, it's July. So we've got a Criterion uh, sale 50% off at Barnes & Noble going on right now. And I just kind of wanted to share my first few pickups uh, in the first few days of this month um, we'll see if I grab anything else um, but really just wanted to share this with you and to kind of get back uh, into this YouTube thing and to get going and uh, engaging with you all so uh, let's dive in I actually want to start um, with something I got for Christmas that my wife got me for Christmas I haven't shown this uh, off yet really at all because um, I haven't been on YouTube so uh, this is a uh, spine number 1160 and this is Malcolm X on 4k signed by Mr. Spike Lee himself. This is a great Christmas gift uh, from the wife. And I love the Digi, Digi pack, uh, whatever, however you describe this packaging. Um, the kind of a hot take I've shared a few times. Um, I actually like the great cases quite a bit. Um, these uh, Digi pack, whatever you want to call them, just sometimes get kind of banged up on the top and the bottom. And some of my Digi, Digi packs back there have some pretty. Uh, obvious wear and tear so uh, in some ways i like the gray cases but this packaging is super cool as well and again this is spine 1160 malcolm x on 4k signed by spike lee which is super cool um all right now let's get into this month's um haul uh coming in at spine number 1181 this is a new release uh last uh, i guess end of may so uh, six weeks ago ish um and this is petite maman uh, directed by Celine uh, Siyama. Uh, came out in 2021, 2022-ish. Very short film. It's 73 minutes long. Um, and if you have a relationship with your mom, your a mother in your life at all, this movie will wreck you to pieces. And um, my wife and I, we watched it. We had just both recently moved away from our folks after graduating college. And uh, this, this just really hits different um, if you have a, a relationship with your mom. And it, it's... Um, it's incredibly moving and a very emotional film uh, and uh, one of my favorites of the decade uh, so far and I was super excited this was going to be a physical release it's pretty bare bones just a conversation there's also um, My Life as a Zucchini which is a uh, stop motion animated film written by Siyama um, so there's not a ton on here special features wise but um, just wanted to own this movie physically and I'm super stoked that Criterion uh, ended up putting this out. I think it truly is one of the best of the decade and deserved a treatment uh, like this. Wish there were some more special features, but I'm glad the movie's here. And next up is a 4K that I've held off on buying for a little bit, <clears throat> and I'll get into why. And this is spine number 1161. And this is Wally on 4K Ultra HD, uh, obviously by the Criterion Collection, the first Disney. Uh, Criterion partnership, Disney licensure partnership ever, maybe. I, uh, it's pretty wild that this is this is real. This is a thing that you can own and you can buy. So I held off for a little bit because um, I, I wasn't really sure if this Disney Criterion thing really felt right to me. I, did, I didn't know uh, what to make of that. And so I kind of held off for, uh, for quite a bit, but I uh, wound up pulling the trigger because I'm a huge Pixar nerd. I love, love, love Pixar. And the special features on here, if you're a Pixar nerd, are incredible. Um, the documentary, the Pixar story from 2007, which I've already seen, but it's cool to be able to have it um, on, on in this release. Um, and there's a lot of other really cool stuff in here too. And my wife and I watched the movie on 4K. It looks beautiful, uh, a masterful opening half hour or so. Um, the rest of the movie isn't quite as good as that, but it's still incredibly, incredibly good um, and, and, and successful in my opinion. And lots of cool, I'm a big sci-fi nerd too, so lots of cool references. The sci-fi movies I really love. I think Andrew Stanton knocked it out of the park. We'd love to see more um, releases like this from, from Disney uh, and Criterion. Uh, Ratatouille would be a great Pixar film, I think, would, would look great on a Criterion. Um, 
the Brad Bird films in general, The Incredibles and Rad 2, I think would be would be pretty awesome. But happy to have Wally on 4K in the Criterion Collection. Still feel a little weird about it, if I'm being honest. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a great release. All right, and finally, uh, for my first haul here, I've got a box set that I've been tracking down for a long time. I thought it went out of print, actually, for a little bit uh, because it was so hard to find. Um, but this is the Essential Jack Demi box set. I love Jack Demi, one of my favorite filmmakers to ever have graced this planet. Um, this set comes with um, six films from him, and uh, I've seen all of these, and I love all of these. And uh, it features two of my favorite movies actually ever, ever made, uh, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg and The Young Girls of Rush For. Now, you can get both of those on their own in the Gray Case Criterions, um, but I love Lola and Bay of Angels and Donkey Skin, um, and so wanted to own all of them and have all of them. So I held off for a long, long time. I've wanted this for years now. Um, and finally has come into my collection. I think what the issue was, there was a combo pack version of this that was Blu-ray and DVD. Um, that did go out of print. Um, Criterion took that off the shelves and put it re reissued a version that's just Blu-ray. So this is just the Blu-rays, no DVDs, just Blu-rays. Um, but I'm super excited to have this. Um, it, Feels and looks very similar to the Jack Tati box set, which is uh, right behind me here. Um, I love Jack Tati as well. Big, big French film fan, I guess, uh, over here. Um, but it has some of the similar uh, kind of packaging with these, like, this is Lola here. Great movie. Um, and it just kind of opens up like that. And that's kind of kind of what these look like for each of them. So, um, yeah, this is Lola. Um, and this is the Essential Jack to me box set. Um, probably the biggest pickup of the month for me. Um, this is what I've been waiting for and super excited uh, to have gotten this. This and It came with a little damage. You can't really see it on video, but um, but it's alright. I'll take it. I'm just glad to have these movies in my collection, to own them, to watch them whenever I want. Watch The Young Girls Rush for last night. Um, just a remarkable movie uh, that I love so, so much. So uh, This is a great box set. Um, if you've been looking for it and you had the same issue I did where it seemed like uh, it was out of stock or it went out of print, um, it's now back um, on Blu-ray. So be sure to pick it up if you've been looking for this. You can order it on Barnes & Noble's website. Um, you may notice that the description does not have a picture or really a description of the box set at all. There's really nothing... It, it, I was worried about what was going to come in the mail because the description of Barnes and Noble was so bare bones. Uh, but you, this is it. You will get it. Um, so order this on Barnes and Noble now. Um, I looked everywhere for this in the stores around me. Um, they did not have this in stock, so I had to order it online uh, from Barnes and Noble. But this is the essential Jack dummy box set. So that's my haul so far this month. Uh, a box set, a couple, uh, well, one 4K from this month and another from back around Christmas time. And then Petite Maman from Celine Siama. Do you have any of these titles? I would love to hear down in the comments below. What are you going to pick up this month? Uh, the July Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale is kind of a holiday for me. Um, and... Uh, it's really a special time. So uh, let me know what you're going to get this month down below in the comments. I know there's a lot of really cool new stuff out. Um, I saw Wings of Desire on 4K in my, at the Barnes & Noble I was at the other day. Um, Wim Wenders movie. Um, saw some other really cool, really, really cool stuff. Targets, um, which is one I'm hoping to pick up uh, eventually, maybe in November. But there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out right now from Criterion. Are you going to pick up any of it? Let me know down in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this far along. Uh, these videos, which I'll try to make them a bit more normal as far as, like, how often they come out. So be sure to like this video if you enjoyed what you saw here today. Subscribe to the channel if this is the kind of content that you like to uh, like to enjoy talking about movies and, and Criterions. And there will be a lot more Criterion Collection coverage um, this month as it's a big month for the Criterion channel. Or Collection, sorry. So yeah, thank you for watching this far and uh, I'll see you next time. Looking at me now, yeah, see I got my life back. God took control.
rolling, I call that a life hack.